His Holiness Gaur Shahi is the one who initiated the heart of your Murshid e Kamil. Sheikh Hisham took initiation of the heart from His Holiness Sarkar Gaur Shahi. So if Sarkar Gaur Shahi's teachings are the Jali teachings, your Murshid e Kamil is also a Dajjali disciple. And you are grand product of the Jali teachings. You took Ijazah from Sheikh Nazim al Haqqani. You took Ijazah from Sheikh Hisham. And they are the ones who respected His Holiness Gaur Shahi. They are the ones who took initiation of the heart, Ijazah of Zikr al Qalb, by His Holiness Sarkar Gaur Shahi. And you, the grand disciple of Sheikh Nazim al Haqqani, without any research, without any knowledge, what you said was nothing but sacrilege, full of blasphemy. The Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad said, it is enough for somebody to be declared as a liar, one who spreads unverified news. And on another occasion, the Prophet of Islam said, somebody who lies cannot be from my ummah. When the Prophet of Islam expects his followers to be free of lies, when the Prophet expects his ummah to be transparent in their speech, just imagine what would be the Prophet's expectations for a religious scholar. But it is very unfortunate that today we live in a society where religious scholars and self-proclaimed Sufi masters have no etiquettes of a speech. Their speech is filled with vulgarity. And whenever they open their mouth for accept phraseology, for accept Qur'an and Hadith, when they speak of their own opinion, it's all based on their inner dirt and the filth of their heart and the filth of their mind. When they speak, when they render their own opinion about matter, they do not practice the faith. They do not practice the Holy Qur'an. They do not practice the customs of the Prophet of Islam. Although they grow beautiful beards and they put a wonderful, glittery, shiny turbans on their head, apply oil to their beard to give a majestic look. However, when they open their mouth, the grudge they have for the true saints of God come out. Like when you open a gutter, the moment you open it, all the sewerage, dirty water comes out. This is what happens when such religious scholars open their mouth. There is no scarcity of such filthy religious scholars and self-proclaimed pseudo-Sufi masters in this world today. However, when it comes to render their opinion on His Holiness Sarkar Gohar Shahi, you want to see their faces. They become furious. They become something different to who they are normally. There are many religious scholars who have found a way for them to enter the hellfire through speaking against His Holiness Gohar Shahi. There are many self-proclaimed Sufi masters who, not knowing what spirituality is, do not stop talking about spirituality. But the moment somebody puts a question to them regarding His Holiness Gaur Shahi, honest to God, it's like a woman, she's wearing wonderful makeup, and it hot summer day, she goes out in the sun, and all her makeup starts to melt and her real face comes to the surface. This is exactly what happens when a pseudo self-proclaimed 
Sufi master is asked about his holiness Gaur Shahi. Then his turban loses his color. Then the beard start to wiggle. All their majestic look starts to melt. And their ugly face comes to the surface. This is what happens when in our contemporary times a pseudo Sufi master is asked about his comments on His Holiness Sarkar Gaur Shahi. The latest ill-fated pseudo-claimant of sainthood is a guy from Vancouver, Canada. His name is Noor Jaan Mira Madi. And very unfortunately, he is one of the disciples of Sheikh Nazim Al-Haqqani Rahmatullahi. So this guy was asked about His Holiness Sarkar Gohar Shahi. And first he said that Gohar has nothing to do with Sayyidina Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam. These are his words. And then he said the teachings of His Holiness Gohar Shahi in a very disgusting, blasphemous way. He said, these teachings are the Jali teachings. I would like my team to send this video to this gentleman so that he can correct himself. And then he said that they say the face of the Mahdi is on the moon. And he said, that's all rubbish. I mean, can you imagine? He can, can he be a Sufi master? who says his face on the moon is just rubbish. It simply means he doesn't know what Imam Jafar al-Sadiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu said. Qala wajhu yatla fil qamr. These are the words of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And you call it rubbish? Is this the language of a Sufi master? Wasn't it the best that you first did some research, opened some religious books, did your study on Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam and his signs, post-Mahdi signs, preceding signs. So basically you do not know anything about the subject of Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam. However, when a question was put to you, you just opened your mouth. Because maybe you thought if you didn't say any word, people would think you are naive to the situation. People would take it as if you do not know anything about Imam Mahdi. Therefore, your lower self, your Latifah nafs, maybe nafs Ammara pushed you and say any vulgar word. Just imagine what would happen to you only if you probed into the matter, if you carefully looked into the matter, found out what the Ahadith say about the moon and Mahdi alayhi salatu wa salam. And then the teachings of His Holiness Gohar Shahi. The guy said, these are the Jali teachings. Now the question is, do you know His Holiness Gohar Shahi's teachings? If you do not know, why did you say the Jali? Fear God without research, without studying the teachings of His Holiness Gohar Shahi. You are calling these teachings to be the Jali teachings. It simply means that you have a habit of giving your opinion without research, without knowing the matter. You're not a common man as you claim to be a Sufi master. Because those who respect you, those who sit around you, flock around you, they revere you then they hold you in a very high esteem and anything that you say will be authentic to a lot of people who sit there with you. Do you ever think that anything wrong that you say will mislead somebody and you will be held accountable for it on the Day of Judgment? Are you not afraid 
of accountability on the day of judgment? I mean, how can you say these teachings are the Jali teachings? His Holiness Ghor Shahi is the one who initiated the heart of your Murshid Kamil. Sheikh Hisham took initiation of the heart from His Holiness Sarkar Ghor Shahi. So if Sarkar Ghor Shahi's teachings are the Jali teachings, your Murshid Kamil is also a Dajjali disciple. And you are grand product of the Jali teachings. You took Ijaza from Sheikh Nazim al Haqqani. You took Ijaza from Sheikh Hisham. And they are the ones who respected His Holiness Ghor Shahi. They are the ones who took initiation of the heart. Zikr al-Qalb, Ijaza of Zikr al-Qalb by His Holiness Sarkar Gohar Shahi. And you, the grand disciple of Sheikh Nazim al-Haqqani, without any research, without any knowledge, you just opened your ugly mouth. And what you said was nothing but sacrilege, full of blasphemy, indecency, and shows how improper your speech is and how corrupt your brain is. His Holiness Gohar Shahi lays all his emphasis on purifying the heart, awakening the heart, enlightening the heart. And these teachings of His Holiness Gohar Shahi are exactly what our Prophet The beloved of God said, O oh, progeny of Adam, there is a lump of flesh in your body. If it is set right, your entire body becomes right. And if it is corrupted, your entire body is corrupted. Remember well, it is your heart. This is a spirituality. And His Holiness Gohar Shahi emphasizes very strongly on enlightenment of the heart. Because according to Prophet Muhammad, revival of the heart, awakening of the heart is key to faith. Without awakening of the heart, you cannot progress from being a Muslim to a Mormon. Without awakening of the heart, without presence of the heart, your Salah is not acceptable to God. The Prophet of Islam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا صلاة إلا بحضور القلب And in Quran, in Surah Hujarat, when some of the Arabis came to the Prophet and said, We are mu'mineen, Allah Almighty revealed upon the heart of the Prophet Muhammad and said, قَالَتِ الْعَرَابُ آمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا The Arabis say that they are mu'mineen. قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا Tell them, You are not Mormon. وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا You should rather say that you have become Muslims. وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلُوا الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ And yet, Iman has not entered your heart. You don't know how important it is for the heart to be awakened? This is Quran. And there is another hadith in which the Prophet of Islam said, My eyes sleep, but my heart doesn't sleep. In yet another hadith, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, غَمَّدْ عَيْنَكَ يَا عَلِي وَاسْمَا فِي قَلْبِكْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Oh Ali, close your eyes and hear the kalima in your heart. And you call these teachings the Jali teachings? You are such a disappointment, especially on the name of Shaykh Nazim al-Haqqan. Ask somebody how much Sheikh Nazim al-Haqqani revered His Holiness Sarkar Gohar Shahi before you again open your filthy, ugly mouth. Amra TV, the place to connect with God.